Her mysterious death in Mexico raised red flags and a question no one can seem to answer. Did bootleg alcohol kill Abby Connor? Her death cast a spotlight on Mexico's illicit alcohol trade. In the months since uh, this story made headlines, dozens of tourists have come forward claiming they blacked out after having just a few drinks. Tonight, our Todd Unger talks to an Arlington man who says it happened to him. Just down there for a quick trip with my friend. At the Garden Plaza Barber Shop. Uh, this was a picture of... Rick Autry uh, is finally Captain back Navy. to work. The other one is me hooked up to the uh, ventilator. Yet for all the progress he's made the past few months, the Arlington man can't stop thinking about what happened in Mexico. I had been down there for less than four hours. And uh, something, something happened and, and there's just too much going on right now. It's a very dangerous place. In May of this year, Rick and a buddy took an all-inclusive trip to a resort in the Riviera Maya. Because we weren't lining up shots and slamming down drinks. He says he had a few rum and cokes during the few hours after immediately arriving. But by that night, Rick was in a local hospital having almost drowned in the resort pool with his wife having rushed down from Texas. And you've had an accident and you're in the hospital. And, and I, was, I can remember being stunned thinking, what, why in the world are you down here? He was soon flown back to the States by a medical jet, and that's when his family started to hear and read about tainted booze, blackouts, and Mexico vacationers. It made the, the hair on my arm stand up because it was just so scary similar to, to what had happened to me. The problem is becoming a big one in Mexico, where 36% of all alcohol is illegally made. Authorities there recently seized 10,000 gallons in popular tourist spots. Months before Rick's experience, 20-year-old Abby Connor did die at a Mexican resort, her family blaming tainted alcohol. Uh, the one where I'm hooked up to the, to the ventilator. Rick uh, says he's staying north of the border for the foreseeable future, and he doesn't think the problem will go away. If you don't have the glass that you're drinking out of or the bottle that they poured it out of, you got no case, really. Now, the Autry family says they did try to reach out to the U.S. Embassy down there, really got nowhere. They're also sounding the alarm about the cash up front hospitals. They say they were forced to put down about $13,000, actually his friend was, just to get initial care. Since then, the whole thing has cost them about $45,000, and insurance is only picking up a fraction of that. Izzy? All right, our thanks to you, Todd.